Hey folks, welcome back to Hopped Up Beer Review. Today we're going to be reviewing Brother Joseph's from Straight to Ale Brewing. It's a Belgian style double. Welcome to Hopped Up Beer Review, where we give you our unprofessional and somewhat biased uh, opinion and review and discussion about the beer we are drinking. Uh, I think we got a fun one today, but before we get to that, be sure to like, subscribe, and cheers that notification bell, and I would be remiss if I did not introduce, of course, Jay and Andy in the attic, and I am Ben. What are we going to be drinking today? So today we are going back to <clears throat> Straight Dale Brewing out of Huntsville, Alabama. They have a Belgian style double called Brother Joseph's. And I think Andy's going to enlighten us a little bit on the uh, Belgian style and, and some of the details about the, the brew here. But we want to crack it first. Oh, really? We're going to crack it first. Oh, yeah, yes. I to say. <laughs> Might get a little long winded. Yeah, never. Need... <laughs> never. I'm just giving the, the persons what I want or what they want. Not what I want. <laughs> <laughs> the person? Yeah. Was that person yeah. or I think people? We only have like persons plural. Maybe a few that actually watch us. That's okay. So, it's a. So, uh, Jay would it, rather be watching obviously yeah so, i mean come on dude. Oh, yeah. gotta, gotta put the details there so and learning part of it's learning so this so, is a year round that they have yeah <clears throat> cheers mates mm. smells good cheers mates cheers mates it's been a couple years since i've had it and this i have not had it so Oh, yeah, you virgin. get the first review. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's a, again, you said a Belgian style double. Double, typically referring to the uh, alcohol content. Um, so, speaking of that, this one is 8% ABV, 24 IBUs. And good old straight to L includes their SRM, SRM, standard reference method of 20. So, we're getting some light to that. Okay. There. Belgian style ales typically got a little higher um, carbonation, but they're they're malty, um, usually brown, a um, little sweetness to it. Usually get some cocoa and caramel coming out of it. Medium, low hop bitterness. So twenty four IBUs. So it's that more medium to lower yeah. uh, end. This one's. Yeah, I don't know why I waited a couple of years to drink it again. Although I don't know if we get it in our area like we used to since we don't have a reliable craft beer store anymore. Yeah, the few times I had been over in y'all's neck of the woods, I know this one distributed as well as some of the other Huntsville breweries over there. Yeah. Now they, as, as we've talked about in the past, Straight to Ale has, has bought a couple other um, breweries. They're now the second largest brewer in the state of Alabama. So they bought uh, Druid City um, Brewing Company and Alti Nut Brewing, and so they they brew all of those brews under their <coughs> uh, facilities. Still have the names for both of those others, but just distribute, and their distribution is is only uh, second to good people here in the state of Alabama. And they actually have a brewers co-op between the two of them now really interesting that they do that yeah i know we've talked about that in the past but i've yeah. always found that interesting the two <laughs> biggest breweries in the state work together on something so right yeah i didn't mean to interrupt you Andy. I'm no sorry. that's right it's like you know it's you, true to its characteristics i'm really picking up that kind of caramel and kind of chocolatey yeah. smell to it from the malt um Jay, had you ever heard about seeing that you frequent straight to ale um, about Brother Joseph and why it became known as or why they named it that? 
No, I, I'm not familiar with the story behind yeah. this one. So it's I, actually love... uh, is named after a real person, um, and he was a Benedictine monk living in Coleman, Alabama. Ah. Um, he was originally from um, Bavaria. Uh, uh, his name, I guess, prior to becoming a monk was uh, Michael Zotel. I think that's how you pronounce it: Z O E T T L. And he worked at the St. Bernard Abbey power plant. Yep. He essentially shoveled, shoveled coal. A uh, little guy, uh, I think he was maybe five feet, uh, real, real small. St. Um, Bernard, yep. <clears throat> and what he, w- he is known for, he, in his spare time, because he would spend like, I think it was like 16, 17 hours a day working there. Because, I mean, being a monk, it was just a life of service. And uh, he would find... Um, pieces of like cement or ceramic tile, um, marbles, other little stuff that would be considered rubbish. And he created miniature. Oh, the Ave Maria Grasso. Yes, he did that. And all these miniature like buildings of biblical uh, importance or in the church. Uh, And he would build these and he make these mini cities and all these things. And yeah, it's, a, it's a very famous attraction here yeah. uh, I, I growing up i went there as a kid and mm-hmm. i actually went to to catholic school for um uh, eight years of my illustrious uh, education and um hey i'm there with they, you my 12 years so yeah. we uh yeah we had field trips down there to see the ave maria grotto as it's yeah. called the ave maria and, grotto. and it's a it's a really neat place um uh the at the time, we, there was no um, Catholic high school around. I mean, even Huntsville, I don't think, had one. Uh, so people would have to go down to St. Bernard Preparatory School if they wanted to go beyond eighth grade uh, yeah. in North Alabama. And that's down in Coleman, so uh, in that area, close to Birmingham. All right, we had a little uh, lapse in, in our recording there, but, uh, but we should be back. But uh, what I was mentioning is uh, if, if you look at the actual can art, there's, you know, you see a, a building kind of in the background there uh, over, over your shoulder. And, you know, Andy, looking at that, when you mentioned you were talking about the biblical references and then you mentioned secular, I mean, to me, that looks almost like uh, the Capitol or, or, you know, something. I don't know if you guys know what that I might think that's particularly St. Peter's be. Basilica. Uh, okay. in uh, Vatican City. All right. Yep. There you go. Y'all both went to Catholic school. I did. So. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so there you go. Come on. You've seen the Da Vinci Code. <laughs> yeah. I mean, long, long time ago. <laughs> you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't pick that out personally. But again, I didn't grow up uh, going to Catholic school. So. No, it, it's a cool story. I didn't know that uh, Straight to Hell did a tribute for, for mm-hmm. that. Glad you shared that, Andy. Mm-hmm. Um, it's really cool. Most of Straight to Hell's legacy or heritage their brews they typically time to um <clears throat> huntsville or space related things or, so this one ties into local as well just a little mm-hmm. bit extended down to coleman so you know just another hour down the road all right we uh is that our nerd out section for for today's episode I rest my case right. <laughs> well um I guess with that, we'll move on to rating uh, Brother Joseph's uh, ale here. I just went absolutely blank. Uh, Belgian-style Belgian style double. double. <laughs> and, uh, of course, I get to go first since uh, this is the first time I've ever had it. Um, I think it's actually really, really, really good. Um, it is fantastic. Uh, you know, definitely – you know, Andy kind of hit on this a little bit. You, you definitely get the malts, uh, you know, the normal caramel um, and, and chocolate uh, on the nose. And, you know, not so much for me on the taste, but, you know, it's all there. The maltiness is, is definitely fantastic. Um, I'm going to give this one eight and a half. Uh, I think I think it's great. Yeah, I agree. I am big on it. Um, Definitely um, higher carbonated, uh, being a Belgian style also. More, you know, there's lots of beer that we drink that has the malts in it, um, and uh, or the highly roasted malts to get that to caramelize the sugars and give you those great flavors. 
Um, but yeah, this one definitely gets me the, the burps going, <laughs> but it's a great taste. Um, we'll zing to it. Uh, I'm going to give it an 8.0. I really like it. All right, awesome. Jay. Yeah. Well, last but not least. All right. Yeah. So, you know, I'd, I'd rather be watching us any day of the week. Uh, hope everybody We're out there. It, out it there. gets out there and checks <laughs> us out some more. So um, got a lot you, of hours of content so you can be watching. <laughs> you, you guys know I'm a huge fan of straight to hell and uh, I always love their stuff and uh, love sharing it with you guys and uh, was excited to try this one. So um, I, I tend to agree with you, Ben. I mean, it's, it's fantastic across the board and I'm glad that they keep it as a year round. Um, I, I'm more of an IPA guy, but you know, when I would need to venture out or something like that, this is actually one that I go to from time to time. So, um, yeah, I, it's an eight and a half all day for me. All right. That will give us an 8.3 for the brother Joseph's, uh, Belgian style double ale from straight to ale out of Huntsville, Alabama. I always want to say Birmingham for some reason. Um, but definitely a great uh, malty uh, ale for, for you to check out if that's your thing. Uh, or even if you're an IPA guy like Jay uh, and want to venture out and try something a little bit different, um, this is a great one to pick up and give a shot. Um, so, again, be sure to like, subscribe, and cheers that notification bell. Check us out on social media as well. Uh, and we will catch up with you guys next time. For Jay and Andy in the attic, I am Ben, and cheers, mates. Cheers, mates. Cheers, mates.